Ah man, so yeah boy, yes guys, welcome back man to the channel. Welcome back again man to the series F1 2020. Uh this is going to be 2021. This is going to be driver's career mode around number one in Bahrain. Uh still play my main content, obviously. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. So here we are in 2021 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. It all begins here. Mercedes looking to retain their hold on the title. Red Bull seeking to secure their position as the main contender for that title. Ferrari, no doubt, hoping for a fresh start following their difficulties last year. And elsewhere on the grid, the prospect of some really exciting battles, including between the newly rebranded Aston Martin and Alpine teams. Lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's good to be back, Crofty. Let's hope for some good racing today. We can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Morgan Perez, Daniel Ricciardo and Norris. Vettel, Leclerc, Sainz, and Pierre Gasly. Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, and Raikkonen. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty. Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, and George Russell. Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. So yeah, I mean, that this should work. Um... I don't know, but I just don't feel great. Uh, I'm not too sure what's gonna happen on the race specifically because I'm struggling with that or with the um, the car at the moment. I did practice, but I'm kind of struggling. But I'll be quiet so long. One second, guys, still me. What's that? Hello. Uh, and yeah, I would just do what I can and just just provide you guys with the race. But anything can happen. Uh, and yeah, let's 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 hope for a better race. But the the medium tires are actually way slower, and I don't think I can maintain the pace with the soft as well. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna race now, and I'll catch you guys on the ending. So yeah, let's go.
lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Be ready with the clutch. will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
pit window, you'll be on the softs. This lap, give us the best in lap you can. Sebastian is in the pits.
up to these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. starting to catch the car in front but we need to look after the tires we won't be making another pit stop
that's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So, let's review the driver's standings. Valtteri Bottas takes the top spot. He's our new driver's championship leader after today's result. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes move to the top of the table. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. So yeah, guys, uh, <coughs> that was the toughest race. I think, but at the end, I was just kind of feeling the car. Uh, I think I was kind of understanding like, the tracks as to where I should break. I think I was understanding more things. <sighs> of which I so wish I would have put those things into play but at the end I just had to kind of manage the tires and then just make sure I fend off um, Lewis but then Lewis dropped position I think he probably hit me and then I had to just fend off uh, Perez but the race was not yeah it was actually really tough but we did what we could uh, man it was actually tougher than I expected to start on those medium tires, I struggled a lot. Like, I had this. Yeah, I struggled a lot. It, it was not fun at all. And I kind of had to make some aggressive moves um, to make it better. I hate this this audio officially showing it's like the hello. I don't know why they did that on this game, but it's kind of terrible. Like, the audio is very, very bad. So I have to just try to mess up with the settings to see what I'm going to get. But yeah, it was just a, another typical race, uh, not that fancy, at least like, we didn't talk about defending, I had, I had to defend, um, more. I'm not sure if I got Perez on the straight, but I remember I did something to basically push for that position. I tried, uh, I, I tried a lot, it was very very tough. Uh, but yeah, I had to do it. Like some moves I did were deemed dangerous, but they were necessary because I knew once we get to a straight, yeah, I was toast. So I did what I did. I did what I could uh, to make sure I can keep on racing. But other than that, everything worked out just fine. Uh, a couple of track track limits, just because like. I was using the pod setups and I was just kind of struggling with the car, the car was shaking a lot, so... But yeah, we tried, we tried, like, I mean, I'm quite impressed as to how much we've pushed, um... Tougher than expected, but yeah, just enough. I think this is where I, I defended. I was having a little bit of overtake, but he passed me. I just went straight for a slip strip and then I just pulled under it, underneath. And I got the others as well. I think that was one of the cleanest moves I've ever done probably in a very long time. I got better exit with the others. And yeah, safe to say I, I, I tried. I think you, you can say the only thing I struggled with, uh, it was just the car in general. I struggled with the car. I was supposed to perform way better than that, but I just kind of struggled. I struggled from the get-go. 
but I mean I'm quite happy I'm quite impressed uh, with how everything ended so I'll probably just go straight to the garage and see what happens on that side yeah I'm, uh, uh, let's just move on the fans yeah, I think really that was seem tough to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Why is it sunny while this is bad? Everything better, went okay. your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Obviously, yeah, I couldn't have done another team. Great. Well, that's everything. But why is it sunny? This game. Why is it sunny while outside? Okay, I think it's just more of a glitch. As you guys saw, I was racing at night, basically. I managed to push the, uh, to maintain at least my position that I got the fastest lap. I think that's going to be very, very crucial towards the end of this season. Excuse me. So, yeah. I mean, I'm feeling quite good at the moment. But at the same time, yeah, I feel like it's going to be rough. It's going to be one of those seasons where it's not going to be fun. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. But... We tried our best and yeah, thank you so much again guys for watching. Three minutes to me, man. It's still the very same guy and content of an ambush, aka all guys to see the guy. Get it ni sarashi kala bina probably see you guys on the next one. Cheers, I'm sending up right now. Catch you guys. I'm out of here. Uh PS. So yeah, currently I'm P2 on the con uh, on the drivers championship of which that's that's basically what we want. So we'll see.